Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Road Rage, stay away. Road Rage is a motorcycle combat game where you play as one of various riders in a motorcycle gang. And needless to say, you are indeed bad to the bone. And there's only one language you understand now, and that's brutal violence. The game takes place in the city of Ashen with seven different districts, unlocked as you progress the game. This is an open world game, sort of like the Need for Speed games. You drive around the city to get to objective points, though the city isn't very interesting. Once there, you take part in either a race, a run, complete stun objectives, run from the cops, or assassinate targets. There are different race types, but all follow the same principles. Get from checkpoint to checkpoint, sometimes the enemies with a battered chainsaw or try to outsmart the cops for 30 seconds, and none of them are fun. While racing, you can take out enemies with a melee weapon, and enemies can take you out with these weapons too, though using these weapons like the rest of the game just isn't fun. They hardly feel like they function. Winning races will award you with cash to buy new bikes, unlocked as the story progresses. You can also customize your bike and upgrade it. You can buy new weapons. Some missions require certain bikes and upgrades before you can start them. If you don't have enough cash, there are plenty of missions around the world for you to go out and earn some. Winning missions also reward you with a tech conversation that is thankfully voice acted, but this is some of the most ridiculous voice acting in video games period. But I'm glad the effort was there to make this game feel like it was cared about a little bit. And this is how the game's story is delivered to you, through these conversations after races. But the voice acting and overall gameplay is so bad that I couldn't help but laugh dozens of times while playing. Their awful physics where you explode or fly through the air after bumping into the tiniest item, you get stuck in places after a crash having to restart a race, thankfully this was rare, happening only once. Cop chases can have you flying through buildings after they hit you, other racers will flip cars, cars fall out of the sky, the game is just a mess. There is online multiplayer and split screen, though I can never get a connection to go through, and the game has to load twice at a painfully slow rate before you can try to find another match, making it not even worth it to try and find other players to suffer with. This is an awful game in every sense of the word. At least a little care went into it, but it looks like a PS2 game and it plays like a PS2 game. I give Road Rage a 3 out of 10. If you played Road Rage, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe for me to the channel. And thanks for watching. I heard you live in Kitali for good. I don't want to end up Chinese cat food. Or as a spaghetti meat sauce special, if you know what I mean. I'm not welcome here any longer. Time for me to move on. Not everyone wants you to leave. I want you to stay. Sorry to disappoint you. My girl's in sub -troid. Nobody can compete with her. But know that I really like you. You're cool. I won't forget you anytime soon. But for now, I got a blaze. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.